This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. Very good morning to all. So, in today's session, we need to discuss about advanced JavaScript. This is very important before learning ReactJS. Any ReactJS developer have to learn the following concept, guys. Right? Let us see. What are the topics we are going to cover? First, let me explain you the concept. Then we can go for the one by one discussion. Here, everybody know var, const, and let keywords. We have three keywords for declaring the variables and how we can use them. What is the difference between them? And when to use var, when to use let, when to use const, we will see here. Okay, this is one concept. Later, we have a concept called class what is a class and in the class we have to know about one more concept called constructor and one more is going to be this keyword <laughs> and finally we have to know an object remember carefully object there is an object in javascript the name of the object is object the name of the object is object so this object having some of the predefined methods and properties and everybody should know about these methods and one more thing i want to tell you we seen some of the array iteration methods in javascript now that is nothing but map method and we have one more thing called for each method and so simply says what i want to tell you you guys needs to recollect i don't want to cover this in this concept so array iteration method sunday simply says array iteration methods i'm telling you these methods are star rated methods okay so without fail we need to know about these methods once again we have to recollect we already discussed them in arrays so you just need to recollect the same guys array iteration methods so once this iteration method completed uh, some of the concepts are there uh, that we need to check it close okay um, this is also very important. Let me discuss this after the, as for the first concept functions Variable as a function and one more is arrow functions arrow functions This is some people will call it as a fat arrow functions or functions. Okay, now right guys if you want to be good in react you should know all these following stuff the seven concepts i mentioned here right so we have to know these concepts and uh, we can you know about closures right and uh, async api calls a s y a s y n c async await something will be there so a w a it await calls okay async await calls are something like this just we need to know about the concept i don't know am i missing any other concept or not but this is very 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 important thing andy but okay you can forget about these two concepts don't worry about these two concepts okay but ajax calls also we will use now okay you have to add the concept here but i'm telling you these concepts are going to be very 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 important andy Okay, now so without these concepts, I think React mm, it may not easy for us. Definitely, each and every concept is going to be very very important while letting React. I don't know if I am missing any other, but you can remind me so we can discuss later. Don't no need to worry about it. Right. So this is all about the thing and thing. Up to these eight concepts are very very important. Later we can add some more concepts if required okay now right this is all done now so let us start with this is the part this part is not only for uh, learning react people it is important for react people and it is important for angular people it is important for node people and and important for Vue.js people also i mean if you want to learn any one of the frameworks i mentioned here these concepts are basics. This is advanced simply says JavaScript and advanced JavaScript something like this. I will consider. Okay, right. Let us talk about the first concept where const let. Now, 
so these are the concept let me save these concepts in your uh, file okay let me explain you the concept called let var const okay try to see something you should understand here l i t r a l s literals dot html i'm creating a file name like this you can take any file name here okay what is file name is not the matter here here we need to understand the var let and the thing and where x is equal to 100 i take in something like this if you can print the value console.log of x what is the value nothing but it is going to log the message 100 and you can go to the bottom and you can see if you can press f12 i think we can see the value called 100 i think you are able to see the value 100 because there is a variable i declare with the value 100 now you can see here i am going to take the variable and the same variable where x is equal to i am taking 200 now can you guys tell me what is the output of the program if we can execute definitely your output is going to be 200 why 200 variable by using var keyword we can declare the variables and what is the meaning of variable and what is the meaning of variable variable nothing but okay let me write in separate file so that it is easy to share you okay right here you can see variable what is the variable remember a variable is used to save the value and we know that what is the purpose of variable right a variable is used to save the value and this point is so important the value of a variable may change may change during the program execution and the value may change see what is the point i told you here we added the value 100 initially after that i changed the value or not based on the requirement based on the calculation so we can change the value of a variable this is all okay the value of a variable may change during the program execution this is done okay what is the next thing here i have one doubt here can you see all of you try to follow can i redeclare the same variable see try to see this is already variable is declared here here i am assigning a new value to it this is okay this is nothing but uh, changing the value of a variable now i am redeclaring the same variable and already i defined i am defining the same variable again then in this point of time see the difference between the previous one and the current one this is you declared the variable one time of declaring the variable one time you are changing the value of the variable that's all now what i'm doing i declared the variable x with 100 i am redeclaring the variable x with the 200 and if this is valid now you can see you will get the 200 and right so by using var keyword we can define the variable we know that's right so by using var keyword we can define the variable and we know that right what we can do exactly variable the value of a variable may change during the program execution we can redeclare the same variable same variable whatever the variable you have we can redeclare it by using var keyword by using var keyword we don't have any problem here right okay done 
this is variable and var keyword so just i just want to go with the uh, var keyword k e y w o r d var keyword okay this is all by using var keyword we can define the variable the value of a variable may change during the program execution we can redeclare the same variable by using var keyword we don't have any problem in the redeclaration now i am going to talk about the const keyword right this is the keyword we have to talk about it so because we know var keyword regularly we will work with var keyword only this const keyword and let keyword are introduced in advanced javascript only so var keyword is already available but this const is available in latest javascript okay ecma people generally will call this as a ecma script ecma uh, 2015 or or some people will call it as a es6 and es6 people will call like this this is going to be 2015 whatever it may be and don't worry there is the uh, latest javascript we have ec es7 es8 is also there okay na from es6 onwards these are going to be added ecma script ecma ecma script ec ma ssc ript that is called es6 and okay na ecma script or simply i am calling es6 and okay na we have es7 you know right es7 is there and lot of concepts are introduced in uh, uh, these versions guys es7 and we have es8 concepts are also there in the javascript okay na right so all the things will be covered don't need to worry about it right one by one okay so here uh const keyword what is the purpose of const keyword by using this keyword by using this keyword we can define the we can define the constant values we can define the constant values what is the meaning of constant and constant means constant means you know very well we cannot we cannot change the the ha change the value of a constant we cannot change the value of a constant and here you can see the value of the variable change during the program execution but constant value i told you we cannot write we will never change and i won't write the point like this we will never change it is impossible to change the constant value and uh, the same i want to take it here we can redeclare or not now you can see this is very very important we cannot redeclare already you define the variable now one time if we can define the constant variable that is fixed forever throughout the program you cannot change the value of it we cannot change the value of a constant and that is fixed forever we cannot redeclare the same variable by using const keyword we cannot redeclare the constants so simply you can write this we cannot redeclare the constants simply point like this now you can see i will show you the thing here now this is all the program we seen okay let me do the same scenario by using const keyword so that you will understand now i am going to take the variable const x is equal to some string or anything you can take any number or string now you can see console dot log and i am going to print the value x you can see i got 500 because value constant is fixed i told you right now you can see after declaring the variable x is equal to i am making 1000 the same i did in the early for variables also na can you see what is the output of the program earlier you printed 100 after that you changed the value to 200 you got 200 now can you imagine what is the output i can get here x is equal to 500 or x is equal to 1000 i told you already one point here what is the point i told you constant means the value will never change forever and it will never change so then what how we can change the value so i told you right it is having a fixed value it will never change but i am changing the value but you can execute it you are going to get an error and assignment to this is the error exactly assignment to constant 
variable see the error and this is error is very clear assignment to constant variable and this is the error you guys are getting assignment to constant variable do you see the error is very clear i mean that is a constant and you cannot change the value of the constant assignment is nothing but i am assigning a value to the constant this is what exactly i'm doing i'm assigning a value to the constant right the same variable constant assignment to constant variable we cannot change the constant value now that's why it is not working so okay now right i got very clear the next point here can i redeclare the constant now i am going to redeclare const okay now const x is equal to now you can see the same story we did earlier we got the output 200 now by using const x is equal to 500 const x is equal to 1000 can we redeclare the constants it is highly impossible now you can see we cannot redeclare now if you can refresh the page can you see the error is also very clear identifier x has already been declared and the x variable is already declared but you are redeclaring it right so how it is possible hmm? how it is possible guys here right it is not possible now nah? right const keyword exactly the same by using this keyword we can define the constant values constant means we will never change the value of a constant and we cannot redeclare the constant next one is going to be let keyword what is the keyword here let keyword <clears throat> what is the let keyword and here okay we seen constant mean forever uh, if you want to use a variable and the variable value should never change then you can go for constant no i want to use a variable the value of the variable may change at any time then you can go for var keyword then what is this let keyword again then so now you can see by using this keyword we can define the variable sunday i mean we can define the we can define the same like variables now you can see what is this exactly the same point i will tell you by using the by using let keyword we can define the variable sunday we can define the variables Mari, what about the var keyword it is used for defining the variables let is also used for defining the variables but const is used to define the constant variable that is very clear const is very clear but here you may have confusion about what is let what is var maybe okay we will we will guard the difference but you can see this by using let keyword we can define the variables and now remember carefully can we redeclare by using the way, uh, let keyword right now you can see we cannot redeclare the variable we cannot redeclare the variable with the let keyword and let keyword though we cannot do it i mean with the let keyword with the var keyword we can redeclare but with the let keyword you cannot define the same variable one more time it is simply give you an error and right we cannot redeclare the variable with the let keyword then value of the let keyword will be changed right the same execution now you can write the point the value of the variable may change during the program execution you can write the same point here the value of a variable may change during the program execution okay now so by using let keyword we can define the variables the value of a variable may change during the program execution right the value of a variable if you want by using uh, the value the variables which are defined by let keyword may change same like and only thing you observed we cannot redeclare the same variable by using let keyword it's look like the only thing see the differences once again just you can recollect uh, the points what we discussed here if possible so that you will get some clarity what is a variable and what we did here can you see what is exactly this is if possible you can recollect it i'm sending you these points in the chart window very important for interviews they will ask us in in interview the differences between these things sunday so you should know about it right okay so now i'm i just sent you the information in the chart window is it done oh what happened okay it's sent and day. just you can uh, check the information oh all is key okay right done so you can check this very important 
what are the points i shared you in the chart window please try to save somewhere keep okay now right i think uh, they will be important for interview let me save the file also no problem right then now we seen some scenarios right next one is guys here here okay we got some differences of uh, let const var it's not completed still we have to know about it right remember i'm writing one more point here in the file what happened oh it is stuck at one minute guys here just give me a second right okay now you can see here there is a concept we have to talk about all these three variables only it's not completed the variables which are declared by using constant let and d said let's try to see here i'm not taking where the variables which are declared by using constant let keywords let keyword are by default by default block scope and a what is this is word block scope idi manaki maybe ah uh, sorry uh, you may not get the things very clear what is the word i written here i think you may not uh, maybe some confusion here but i am telling you this is very very important that's why i added some stars there okay now the variables which are declared by you by using constant let keyword are by default available in block scope or by default block scope and that's all not available by default there in the block scope now you have a big question sir what is meant by block scope okay you know block of code i think we discussed it somewhere in javascript starting of the sessions maybe now you can see now generally if you can write some code in the curly bracket we know that this is called block of code block of code now you can see i declared a variable and where x is equal to 100 okay now this is declared in the block inside the block now i am coming out of the block i am trying to access the variable x and i am trying to access the variable x now if you can refresh can you see you are getting 1000 now okay this is very clear where keyword is global and in your file if you can declare a variable as where you can access wherever you want you can access wherever you want that is a var keyword but unfortunately uh, const let not like that right so if they defined in the block scope now we can see i just want to tell you they uh, they are in the block scope in now you can see i am defining the variable const x is equal to 1000 now can we see where we printed the value outside of the block okay because it is a global scope now by using const where is const is declared and the const is declared inside the block what i am telling you the my point here the variables which are declared using const and let keyword are by default block scope are by default block scope remember we cannot access them outside of a block outside of a block and blo ck block it is not possible that's what we want to see now now you can see now i'm going to try to access the const variable you can see there is an error x is not defined x is defined where it is defined it is defined inside a block but if it is a var we can access it because you are using const keyword so that you cannot access them money okay now right now i am going with the same only let me keep this into comment i am going with the same with the let keyword let x is equal to 1000 now you can check this still this is also going to give you same error x is not defined why x is not defined because let and const are available in the block scope only if you can declare let const variable within the block you have to use them within that block only you cannot access them outside that's my point is very clear i mean so one more point but where can be accessed wherever you want but the variables which are declared by using let and const keyword are by default block scope we cannot access them outside of a block anything so i mean you know what is the meaning of block and it may be followed by for loop right the block of code will be followed by for loop 
for example if you are defining a variable in the for loop can we access outside variable okay but const let keywords are accessed outside no you can take a function also here now we know that this is all about the block scope now function add you have some variables in the function can we access outside no because they're in the block scope now you can take a for loop or while loop if statement whatever it may be if they are in the block scope we cannot access outside now simply says guys this is what exactly the concept of where const and let i want to tell you one more scenario here try to see we cannot access outside if you if the variable simply you can try to see if the variables that declared by using let and const if it is inside the curly bracket they cannot access outside okay this is simply you have to remember now i am telling you one more point let us take a function some function i am taking function add and day okay now function add in this i am defining a variable x is equal to some value 100 const i am taking something const uh, city equal to hyderabad h y d e r a b i d hyderabad and uh, you can take let keyword let um price is equal to 500 or something like this i'm taking okay whatever it may be we taken these values but tell me one thing where these variables are declared inside the block scope and inside the block scope can you please tell me if i print console dot log of x x is defined by using where keyword so can i get the value of the x or not this is my uh, thing so can i get the value x or not definitely you cannot access constant uh, you cannot access city and you cannot access uh, price and why because they are inside the block scope but where is inside the block scope but the variable is declared by using where keyword now you can see you cannot get any output you cannot get uh, any output uh, what is the reason i told you 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 may have a question here sir you told me where keyword is a global if you can declare wherever you want you can access them i told you but what is happening sir why i am not able to access the variable x okay you are unable to access the variable x now let me check this can i able to access the city no definitely you cannot access city and uh, price why because they are the block scope by default but whatever the where keyword and the but remember one point here whatever the variable whatever the variable whatever the variable you guys are declaring inside a function whatever the variable you guys are declaring inside a function by default they are all local variables to the function remember this point is very important whatever the variables we are declaring inside a function by default they are local variables right the variables which are declared inside a function the variables whatever the variable it may be the variables which are declared inside a function we cannot access them outside and we cannot access them outside if the variable is declared inside a function you cannot access them outside of a function the scope of the variables is within the function only you cannot access them outside the that variable may be where keyword but where is that is declared here the important point you need to remember where is global okay let and const are the block scope okay that's not a problem but the thing he's here you need to remember where you declare that is important so now you can see the variables whatever the variables you have here now you can see i am removing them i am keeping them outside and if you can keep them outside then what is going to be happen you know all these three variables are global and wherever you want you can access them the thing is here where you are declaring if you declared any variable inside a function that is local you cannot access the local variables outside of a function if you can declare outside of a function definitely that is going to be now you can see i want to access all the variables in the function and 
pixel now you can go with the city and you can go with the price okay you can just go with the price something like this if you can call the function add now you can see all the values we can get 100 Hyderabad and uh, all the values you are able to get it right yes this is what you guys need to check it guys very important thing the place where you are declaring the variables is very very important right so simply says guys here generally you can declare constant let generally let keyword is mostly used in the block scope right i will tell you one more scenario for better clarity here try to see so now you can see i am going to write the for loop only okay right for loop in the for loop i just want to take the generally we will declare the variable where i equal to one i less than or equal to five whatever it may be sorry i less than or equal to five and i plus plus and this is what we know generally hmm? right so if you can print console dot log of i what is the value of it andy it is in the block only right these are all in the block scope only now if you can refresh we can see the values one to five okay now see once loop has been completed finally i am printing one more time i and after loop has been completely done what is the value of i here anybody please tell me the value of i is going to be six and d now you can check this six is also printed six you you may have a question why six sir remember carefully andy when this condition becomes false when this condition becomes false after condition becomes false you will exit the loop now at the time what is the value of i value of i is six and a not five remember carefully first time i now so now i will tell you quickly try to see right so now you can take it as a one less than five condition true and you know what is the meaning of it i equal to i plus one exactly i mean one plus one okay one plus one means two i value overrides with the two two less than five condition true and this is going to be two plus one it will become three like this loop is iterating three th less than five condition true block printed now three plus one it is four now i value four and four less than five condition true and printed block is printed and four plus one five now you can see now i value four five less than or equal to five condition true and a condition true it will go here five plus one now it is six and it will come here now six uh, six less than or equal to five at the now this condition is false now if condition false we know that loop will be terminated at this point of time what is the value in the block okay i value is five if condition at the time of six less than or equal to five condition falls if condition falls this block will never execute it but i value is six now we can able to access the value of the i outside of the block also remember carefully this is the variable you very where i you declared in the for loop but i am able to access here now right this is the variable you declared here that i am able to access here now you can see i will do the same one more time try to observe these things clear now you can check this what i am going to do you can check this this is all one to six so this is after loop only this is after loop so before loop you have five values that's very clear okay otherwise let us write one small thing console.log without having any confusion this is after loop that's why i written something like this is the loop loop has been completely done we have the value six now you can see now i'm taking the variable with the letter and a let i equal to one i less than or equal to five and you can see now here you will get a one to five but what is the output after the loop and can i get the value i here see i told you let the keyword is available within the block scope only can we access this because of the var keyword earlier we are able to access the value and we are able to see six here but can i access this here outside of the loop no and now you can see you are you have an error here what is the error here you are having exactly i equal i is not defined so that is a local variable and now it is a simply says that is a local to the block simply says block scope definitely you cannot use const and you cannot use const for the loop iteration first of all it is giving error assignment to con see what why you cannot avoid you cannot use constant here constant means the value will never change now but how can we use the constant here so always while loop iterations you can use a var keyword 
or let keyword in the loop iteration you will never use const keyword because const means fixed value so what i want to tell you if you can use let keyword the very where is the variable you declare i variable declared that is available to this block scope only you cannot access outside but if you can take this where keyword now you can check this the things will be works for us so your choice where you want to use let keyword where you want to use where keyword that is your choice generally maximum of the functions when we are creating and the functions add in real time in this function if i want to take any variable i will always use let keyword i will always use let keyword generally some people will say let is used for declaring the local variables oh c and d you can use any keyword for declaring the variables but try to understand the scopes of these variables that is very very important that is what exactly they are available in the block scope what exactly these are guys here yes this is what exactly the thing okay right this is very clear guys here try to understand what exactly the things are going to be done okay now right so the next concept guys we need to discuss about uh, uh variable as a function okay and fat arrow syntaxes that we need to discuss that i will discuss maybe on monday okay right any doubts we have please carry on